So hi everyone, here we are just offshore from, from the Kurato Spit, um, as the locals like to call it, and the Kurato River mouth is a few hundred metres um, to the north of us. And we're, we're only about 300 metres, a bit further offshore, and we've spent the morning out on Lake Taupo trolling. Trolling is, I think, a really good way for for families, particularly families with younger children, to get introduced to fishing on on this lake, because you don't need a lot of expensive gear, and you don't need a big boat, because often you're fishing just a few hundred metres offshore. So if you time the weather right, it's fine. I've got a couple of different rods here. This is an older model um, with the old LV type reel. Um, yeah, quite quite solid, but but takes quite a while to to wind it in. This is a more modern setup with a lighter rod and certainly a reel that can um, you can get the line in at a at a far faster clip. Um, but they both they both do the job, and and you can buy really good second hand gear, for example, um, this sort of thing, um, you know, for around a hundred dollars, or set up ready to go, or you can you can buy it new stuff from a sports shop for around $220 and, you, and you'd be ready to fish. So in terms of places to go to, to go trolling, normally you're not needing to go far offshore at all and um, a place like Kurato or Mori here, you go out um, to about 300 metres and you're, and you're into water that's um, 50 or 60 metres deep. Um, and and I found that trolling between in water that's sort of be between about 20 to 50 metres deep, um, I can catch all the fish that um, I've ever needed. I've ever needed to catch. The the trick is to find where the fish are feeding, and particularly during the summer, that's where the smelt are. And often an indication of that will be those um, pesky shags that you'll see in the water at the same time. So in terms of in terms of getting it set up to get your line in the water, you want to um, you want to get your lure in the water and then accelerate your small motor so you're, you're going along at a reasonable clip to, and that's in order to peel all your lead line off the reel because it takes a while to get it all off the reel. Then run out about 50 metres of your backing and, um, and slow down and you want to be trolling at a speed of about 2.5 knots around there, um, sort of about but over three mile an hour is probably about the ideal speed for trolling. There's probably three or four lures that I would use mainly out of quite a large selection of lures in my in my box and and they would be a toby, you know black and gold, well, there's a whole variety of, of different colours of tobies now um, and uh, Certainly, I have in there a, a spotty gold cobra, so that's a, a different lure with a with a different sort of action to it. So once you've got your line in the water, um, the lead line has quite a bit of dra drag because it's quite a heavy line. So you want to you want to set the drag on your reel um, quite hard so that you've got to fairly work fairly hard to pull line off your reel, and and then you'll be right for when the fish strikes. Just in terms of where to go on the lake, just like um, you have contour maps showing land, um, we have contour maps showing features on the lake and they're called charts and you can study a chart and, and see how quickly the, the depth changes and how quickly you go towards the drop off. So often you'll be watching other boats trolling, they'll be following their depth sounder and they'll be following the contours as you, as you go around the lake. Um, and that's a that's always a smart thing to do. The other thing to to look for is to it's obviously watch where other people are catching fish, but also keep an eye on shags because they will always be where the most smelt are, and that's where you want to be fishing too. A really useful piece of equipment when you're out trolling is a depth sounder, and that enables you to get your line pretty close to the bottom and um, lead lines sink about at the rate of about um, two meters per color and so you can plan plan your trip as you're going out in terms of um, where you want to target by letting out um, 
as much line as you think you need to so you don't have to be fishing the whole 10 colors at any time so one particular thing that you need to be aware of is when you're trolling on the right on the lake in deference to people fly fishing at river mouths there's a sort of a 300 meter uh, exclusion zone um, for trolling around river mouths so you have to make sure if you're coming around past the river mouth that you're at least 300 meters away from that place